So have you ever been out in a winter storm and you're thinking, oh my gosh, it's a blizzard, but is it really? What exactly defines a blizzard? Let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm Travis Roberts. I'm a former TV chief meteorologist. I do weather updates here on YouTube, so hit subscribe. You can get those details. Heavy snow alone does not define a blizzard. The National Weather Service defines a blizzard as this, blowing and or falling snow with winds of at least 35 miles per hour, reducing visibilities to a quarter of a mile or less for at least three hours. Now that doesn't mean you won't have blizzard conditions for five, 10 minutes, maybe even an hour or so. It's just the, the official definition is this. And you don't actually have to have snow falling to create a blizzard. You can get ground blizzard conditions when winds loft the current snowpack and reduce those visibilities without any falling snow. Now we've recently had multiple blizzard conditions across the country and there have been notable blizzards over the decades and centuries. An interesting read from the National Weather Service at Jackson, I'm gonna to link to it in the description below, is a look back at the 1993 superstorm. Some folks call it the storm of the century. Some people call it the blizzard of 93. If you were alive in 1993 and you basically lived along the East Coast, you remember this storm. This storm dumped up to a foot of snow into Alabama, two feet of snow into the Appalachians, and there were definitely blizzard conditions during this storm. Take a look at some of the snowfall numbers. Mount LeConte, Tennessee, 60 inches. Mount Mitchell, 50. Syracuse, 43 inches of snow. Pittsburgh even got 25 inches. Hartford, 24. Even Chattanooga, Tennessee, 20 inches, and again, Birmingham, 17 inches of snow. So this wasn't just an east, mid-Atlantic, northeast snow. This was a southern snow, and a lot of people remember this one. It was super cold behind this storm, too. Look at these low temperatures. Caribou, Maine, I guess the winter with minus 12, but really, it wasn't the cold here that stood out. Look how cold it was in the south. Chattanooga down to 11, and keep in mind, this was almost mid-March. Pensacola, Florida, 25. Augusta, Georgia, 19. And there was a lot of severe weather with this system too. But look at these maximum wind gusts. Of course, Mount Washington, 144. But other places too were well over 90 miles per hour. Even Myrtle Beach with a gust to 90. And look at the surface pressures down into the 960 millibars all up and down the East Coast. This storm was powerful and it dumped a lot of snow, creating lots of blizzard conditions. So there's your official definition of a blizzard. Again, I hope you can subscribe. Click here. And if you'd like to check out my latest weather forecast video, click here. I'll see you over there.